be the, that, that one guy out here chasing everybody. I'm not a Shannon Briggs. You're not gonna find that out of me. So, so you talk about changing a brand now. Talk about your brand. You guys. Be this is a mean brand. When you, when you speak lines, only you, you only the people in the world know that you're not speaking like to about some soft. Uh, uh, just some pushovers or whatever it is. Like we vocal, we with it, we whatever y'all want us to be. This a, it's not it's not the brand like a golden boy. It's not a TMT. It's not about a flash. It's really about like what's built in here. Only people that we're gonna have on our banner is that they gotta have what we have. And, and I don't see my brother Hardy. We not dealing with. Do you think that could be a new face of boxing moving forward? You that you guys are, could be the new face of boxing. Yeah, we're, we're needing we something, we're needing something right now. You see now. it? I thought it was already established. And, and it represents again where you guys hey, came from. We hungry talk. fighters. That's what lines only mean. Our circle gonna remain hungry. Most fans think you'll beat Canelo. What you oh, think? Bro. It is what it is, man. How long you think it'll take you to? However long it take, I'm gonna be here right, waiting and ready. Does this go back to the upbringing too, where you guys started out? What? Our hunger. Yeah, our hunger is from how we was brought up. Yeah. yeah. You remember us when we started out? Do I remember? Yes, I do. You remember us when we started out? No. From pros. From pros. From the pros. Yes. The pros. What kind of hair they had? I was with. Oh. I was with. Oh. What network they fought on? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Who was we signed with? We were signed yeah. with Al Heyman. Wrong. No, really? No. no. We, what I can see. We worked to get signed by Al Heyman. We wanted to get signed by you know, Al Heyman. You know, well, I got to tell you a story. You fought Gabby Rosado. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a story. You don't know, bro. You ain't there yet, bro. You don't know, bro. You don't know what you thought you knew. This is what happened. Right. Enlighten me, please. There's a lot of fans yeah, like you that. Oh, yeah. I'm not a fan. I'm like, like, I know it's a lot of fans. Right, you're a fan too, bro. Relax a little bit. Look, relax. <laughs> you're a fan, obviously, if you don't Absolutely. know us. Well, it's come cool. on. Look, so this is what happened, bro. When I first turned pro, I was in the gym training every day. Ronnie Shields pulled up and said, You know what, Mel? All right, for real, for real, this deeper. Ronnie and Willie Savannah kind of had a little beef because Ronnie trained Juan Diaz and he trained Holyfield. And I remember I was in the gym just watching all of this little animosity going on, right? And so when Ronnie around the corner, he said, bring him over here. He probably gonna be like, yeah, this is crazy. So look, so Ronnie brought, so when Ronnie, um, you know, he, he came in, he said, yeah, you want to train, you want to turn pro? And I was like, well, you know, I brought the car. I've been having a struggle to get to the gym, still making it, and I'm in this joker. Yeah, let's go pro, you know, but the real reason why he said that to me because of the animosity that he had between uh, Willie Savannah because Ronnie decided to go with with Holyfield on a fight. Take that, he decided to train Holyfield and Ronnie, I mean, Willie Savannah wasn't having it. He really didn't like that because he was a trainer for both. So he had to make a decision. He was put in this situation and a lot of animosity came, but Willie Savannah was once a manager. A guy walked in the gym named Shelly Finkel. He like, hey, hey, this is this, this your manager, I'm Shelly, Shelly Finkel? Yeah. So then I got with Shelly Finkel in 07. Shelly got me my first fight. And then from that point on, I signed with Golden Boy. That's what my brother was really trying to ask you. Did you know? He didn't know none of that. You just informed him. Oh, I'm, I'm informed him. This is him. what so I need to know for my right. Yeah. Like, so look, 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 look. That's, that's cool. Look, look, look. That's why I'm this letting him tell you this. This is what I'm here for. That's why you need to live. You need to hear from me. I know. Get off the neck, Ma. Look, so, 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 say you know something you don't know. All right, all right, so look. Because you nigga got bad attitude. Look, so what you got to understand is so. Shelly left the game, and it left me in the, it left me in boxing like alone a little bit. I was just with uh, I was with uh, Golden Boy Promotions, and the real animosity that I have with Golden Boy, because I felt like they really wasn't trying to support me as a fighter. They was just putting me in there with ten and 0, six and 0 guys like that, and I'm like, damn, they rocking with the African American parties or what? And showing sure up, a manager pulls up on me. I signed with another manager. That shit really didn't, wasn't too. It was a it was a, a lawyer. I'll tell y'all about that later. Uh, it was cool, God. Um, but, you know, I ended up getting a release from him. And then that's when I, you know, was introduced to the big guys. And, and every, he's been on ever since. That's and that's how my pro career kind of started. My brother really had none, had of, that. none of that from the start. Yeah. So none of y'all know it, So basically, our, our lunch really came from a little beat that was from between two managers and somebody trying to, you know, I'm going to go ahead and sign these young fighters now. And I got my chance. And I, and I seen that opportunity. And then I've been a world champion for three years now. So hey, guys, do you feel everybody like December 1st starting? It's starting <laughs> 2019. What do you foresee for 2019? A lot of activity, a lot of fights. Lot I, I want to be a lot more active. Yeah. Uh, uh, all the way, like through. We're gonna do what the managers, the people, let us to do good. We cannot, no, we cannot make these scared, fights. You know. We can't tell these I other guys across the pond to come over here and fight. I wish Kill Brooks did sign with Al Heyman, and we can also make a fight. Then we'll have a whole UK fight. Let's start. Let's start that is happening. It'll get popping. We can get popping. Yeah, it's gonna get popping. Take your time. 
it'll take your time. It's gonna be fun too. You still got girls, you got guys like Earl Spence. Yo, you know, they you got, ready? You know, girl boxing. You got so much going on. Yo, Al Heyman ain't gonna oh, okay. be at all. That's crazy. The press, the press does like to scope division. We do like the negative stuff because it draws more hits. Yeah, but yeah. I do believe that if everyone works together and gets on the same page, that it makes for better fights. And I believe that's why there's not a boxing video game out right now because it's so much, it's so hard to try to like put these fighters together. There's not a union in this sport. You know what I'm saying? That's why saving your money and making your money is important. So you gotta get that bag and, and secure it. But you need to be a what really like dope dope is they did to create a badass video game and then you can make them fight it in. You probably wouldn't have so much animosity between fans and, and, and it's still ain't gonna prove lies. But I mean, the only way gonna find out like who the best in this sport is the best gotta fight the best. That, you know, get the best gotta make the best fights happen. Do you ever get tempted to reach out yourself to fighters that you want to fight? Maybe I've, on the other I've side definitely, of the I've definitely, no, no, no. I've definitely. Um, All right, so we got it set up for the press conference, so you guys out. can go take yeah, every out there because the opponents are, are they know me. The opponents are here for the fight, so Ready? we got to get it all set.